goes from lighter colors to darker colors. So we need to cut these next. Hand those forward up. Hey everybody. I, uh, we did some soaps. And I tried to come on earlier and I felt so bad for it. We got as soon because I hadn't had anybody. Normally, if it's been slow but steady but slow all day, usually by five o'clock when it's cold weather like this, nobody comes in the store anymore. And it was like 5 30, I think. And when you know, I still got bobbed. <laughs> <laughs> I had a big crowd come in on me. So that's good for me, but I'm so sorry for those of you who were so patiently waiting. I really did think, you know, I'd just be able to get rid of these people and, you know, help them with what they need and come right back to y'all guys. But it didn't work. I swear, I think there's a helicopter above the store. We got helicopters. As long as the little guys don't start peeling out of them on ropes, <laughs> we'll be all right. <laughs> Anyway, oh, back to, this is our sandalwood. So, Central Depot sandalwood does not discolor soap. I put the uh, brown swirls in it on purpose. <laughs> I did that with Slippery Elm. And uh, it's a, what I call a pot swirl. Come out pretty good. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Just some little light uh, brown swirls for the sandalwood soap. Uh, those may get a little bit darker as they dry. We will see. I need to slide down further so I have a place to put these wonderful soaps. Isn't those pretty? Uh, here we got a little bit of a dark spot that didn't get blended. That's never happened to me before, I don't think. I don't think I remember that happening. But it's really really pretty um uh, and not when it gets dry the brown uh, swirls and it matches the sandal wood you know which has sort of like a leather smell to it uh sandal wood does just naturally isn't that pretty and so that was our sandalwood soap. I put the whole bottle in there this time because I have a hard time getting the sandalwood to stick, you know, where you can smell it after it's cured. And so I put, hey, everybody. I, so I put the whole bottle in. So I put um, two ounces for 11 to 12 bars. That's the rule. <laughs> Essential Depot sandalwood. And uh, let's see. It smells good. And so I think that that's going to be the thing that, that fixes my problem with their sandalwood. But as they say, I'll let you know. Um, I love the Essential Depot cutter. Isn't this thing awesome? I'm telling you, just zip, 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 and you're done. It's glorious. We're gonna put, we're gonna test out the other one too. For those of you who have never seen the Essential Depot cutter, it is a banana, a banana, banana. No, it's piano string cutter, and uh, and we do love it. And that went wonderful. And it smells, what do you think? You can smell it, right? Yeah. It's potent, yeah. right? Okay. Whether you like it or not is, is useless for the camera <laughs> because we already know that we love sandalwood. <laughs> we just, it's just hard to get Essential Depots, which is a natural base sandalwood fragrance to stick. Okay. Oh, this is our dragon's blood. Now, this is the color that Essential Depot's uh, dragon's blood fragrance. I put uh, two ounces in this one, too. And that one right there uh, is the color that it makes the soap uh, of its own free will. And I didn't add any color it knowing that this is the color it was going to be. Uh, 
I have in the past added red to it, but I can't remember what kind of red I added to it. But one time I added some red to some cold process soap, and I'm trying to remember what I did it with, and I can't think. I'm going to have to go back and watch my own video. <laughs> I know, that's pretty bad. I'm going to have to go watch my own darn video and figure out what it did. But I remember I turned some cold process soap freaking red put dragon's blood in it <laughs> so i can't remember i'm gonna have to go search that uh you know we did some videos where we were testing um kimberly learning to do cold process soap and uh and i remember testing the dragon's blood fragrance in cold blush and in, in, uh, in soap and i remember it uh, being the most beautiful red but I can't remember what I did to do it with. Hillary might know. Hillary knows everything. Ah. I was checking my Hillary messages. There we go. All right. Pam's in there. We got her in the body butter class. Who else is going to join us? Look, my face is cleared up. Y'all don't even y'all don't even recognize me with a clear face, do you? You still see my red rosacea red glow, but it was my thyroid that had it out of whack this year. We didn't know I didn't know what was happening. All of a sudden it was so hard to control and nothing I did natural seemed to work. It was crazy. And that's because it was my thyroid. And so uh, I, I didn't just need tea tree, I needed thyroid hormone. <laughs> Anyway, yes, they're live interactive classes, and we're going to have those tomorrow night. If you have all until tomorrow, oh, maybe 4 o'clock Central, uh, you could pay and get into the first $20 class. You don't have to pay for both classes at the same time. There is a rule, though, okay? You, if you, you could pay for the first class and not pay for the second class. But if you pay for the second class, you have to pay for the first class because the video is already in there. And so then you get to see it for free, and that wouldn't be fair to all the people that pay. Uh, it is true that it, we did this on a uh, all sales or final basis because uh, it's just too difficult to know who did and did not get in onto the page when they were supposed to and watch the videos and and so we just said all sales are final so if you miss your class the video is in there and we'll still uh, assist you with that class after it's over with your questions and helping you with what we need to for the class that you would have gotten but you won't get to do it during the class uh, like everybody else did but you'll still have fun and the video is still fun, and it's almost as if, you know, the way they're done in a glow live uh, format, every time you watch it, it's like you're live. <laughs> so, ooh, that, a chunk come out. Watch, let's see if it'll do it again. Woo, they're sticking. Sticking together. Now, see this one here? See, see, we've got the same thing going. It's not as bad. This one could go because it's tall on the back side, too but it sort of looks gnarly. So this one here will go home to Steve. This will be a Steve bar. That's his favorite one. And whenever he takes a bath with it, his beard, he keeps the scent. Oh, you can just, I'm like, come here, baby. Let me snuggle up to you, baby. And he's like, what, what you doing? I'm like, come here, come here. <laughs> and uh, because he smells so good after he takes a bath. The, the the dragon's blood lingers in the hair, even in like the body hair, it lingers everywhere. And, and you know, I'll roll over, you know, and I'll curl up next to him and I'll be sniffing. <laughs> I get dragon's blood it all night. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, what's, is that, oh, bar number six. Uh, bar number six just looks in exceptionally good tonight. I don't know what it is about bar number six, but bar number six looks exceptional today. 
we, you can see the bee pollen in it really nicely. It, it uh, I don't know if it looks as good on your end as it does on mine, but on my end, it looks really good this time. The bee pollen is really well blended and showing well in it. Um, it really looks good. Isn't that pretty? See the bee pollen? It's really nicely uh, blended well and swirled around in the soap. That's going to feel really good if you wash directly on your skin. Bee pollen is really great for dry skin. Um, honey is great for dry skin because it's a moisture lock, so it blocks, it locks your natural moistures in and any moistures that you're getting from your soap bar. Yeah, I love the natural honey swirls. Can you see the honey swirls from the super fats? I love it. So this has honey and bee pollen in it and organic oats. So it's, it's really wonderful. And then the essential oils that's in it are awesome for dry skin. So it's one of our favorites. All right. So, let's see if I can do that. We need the other cutter. Oh, there it is for those two there. All right, so now this is, I did that little thing on the embeds. Remember the video uh, a couple days ago on the embeds? Uh, this is what that soap looks like. You can see the little embeds poking around. Um, you can take your time And you can take a knife and you can actually uncover your cubes. I'm just taking a knife and I'm just cleaning the white soap off of these cubes and I want to show you the difference. See, look, see, we made their cubes much more uh, deafened, defined by cleaning them off. And uh, to sort of give you an idea, we, you know, we just cleaned the haze off of them. And Oh, 
well, this soap has been sitting in the curing rack for a few days. How long has it been since we since we did it? Sunday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Normally this is cut immediately, but Bridget was too swamped yesterday. She couldn't get her chores done at all. Isn't that pretty? And see, now you have the same prettiness on top because you've cleaned the the top. But isn't that pretty? See, some of them's going to come out like this. Some of them's going to come out like this. Um, see here? But look at that. So it's really fun. You can put more in there than I did. See? Oh, isn't that pretty? <laughs> and uh, I, I really enjoy uh, doing this soap. And it smells so awesome. So, so here is the spot, and we're just we're just cleaning off and making it all pretty. So that just sort of cleared them away. Now I have gotten myself a um, hole that I didn't know I had. Where's the scraps from those? from those soaps. Oh, we've got to have some of this. We've got a really bad hole in the bottom and uh, I think it's because a, the spoon came in and it moved a block. I've never had this happen before with it so dramatic like this, but it's a really good sized hole, but thankfully we have um, a little trim from its sister, it's loaf, and we're just going to Okay, so we've got uh, that hole patched, and away we go to the cutting factory. Ooh, I missed one. I think this one, if we're going to do it, let's 
Do it right. No, I missed a couple. And I tell everybody, everybody needs one of these cutters, and uh, and you need to get one of these cutters from Essential Depot because they're so awesome. So. See, there's two that not got a lot on them, but they're fun. And, uh, yeah. And then these two got well decorated. So, see, you could add more than what I did. I, I added five bars of soap. Woo, those are pretty. This one here will go in the discount bin. See, every once in a while, an end piece just looks wonky, but we repaired that hole right there. And so it looks really good, but still, that side doesn't look its best, so we won't sell that one for full strength, full price. All right, so this is your standard Essential Depot cutter. Um, and where we end up doing things different is see we can't cut this in here we can cut it into sections and get it into here but we can't get it into here so people were talking like hey I want a cutter I can use any mold with so go ahead and take that one to the sink and let's pull out Big Daddy. All right. So here we have a curved design here so that we can put larger loafs in. So I can lay this one in here and it's sticking out, you know. But we just cut. And it just cuts this end off and then we'll put it through the system but it cuts every bar perfect this is our bar number 11 that we sell a lot of and I'm using chickweed right now to color it makes it a real pretty neutral green not to you know stand out and uh, uh, hopefully not enough to uh, color the tub of the lady who doesn't want her tub altered. <laughs> Just a mild color. And this is the same kind of molds that my dad makes me. Uh, and uh, so if you ever want to buy one of those kind of molds, you can. Now, so you can see, here's our end piece. It did, it's not quite wide enough to make that last piece. So this one here, we'll give to family. And that's your sticker for that one. And so now, Lemongrass soap. Oh, I love lemongrass. Mmm. 
I used a teaspoon, no, one level taste, one level tablespoon of turmeric to make this this color in 22 bars. So that's pretty nifty. It's got a really pretty yellow. I'm really fond of turmeric as a colorant, plus turmeric's good for the skin. We've got a couple of skinny pieces, but they're still big enough to utilize for a few washes. So we'll put those on the curing rack too. Um, you may, may find that those there are so tall that you can't set this one on without smooshing them. You may want to take them and put them on the top and trade them out for something here. You see how tall one is? I don't know. Yeah, this one at least would be here. Um, I'll let, uh, I, I rotate. All right. Uh, let's look at that. Uh, our, that bar over there is so tall that, um, I, I felt like a couple of them might be struck by the next tray. And so we're switching those out so that the tall ones are on the top. accidentally be mailed out to somebody so we need to separate them whenever I hand them to you that's what I intended all right so we did bath bombs um, and uh, I'll have to say for my first ever bath bomb they were pretty decent uh, and so now I'm looking at getting a um, we call it um, bath bomb molds there we go and a and, and a press I want to press I want to press so I know that maybe y'all guys would be familiar with the best press out there you know um, I've seen them for like 200 something dollars I'm not sure if that included you know like more than one size mold to it or if that was just one and uh, and everything and I've seen them at the at the guild last year or this year I seen them at the guild this year does anybody remember the name of that company that that was doing the uh, the bath bomb presses there at the guild uh, in their showroom you know where you go to buy stuff because there was a company that was doing that so if any of y'all went to the guild this year and uh, it, it was in Atlanta and if y'all went and y'all remember the name of that uh, company that was selling the presses, that'd be pretty awesome to have that information now. 
I don't know what I did with it. I, it's got to be around here somewhere. You know, I moved and everything. So, na 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 Oh, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> but we can find it. We have the technology. We can do it. <laughs> so, I'm trying to find it. It's around here somewhere. So, I'm fixing to make uh, some more bath bombs in brighter colors and, and play with that. Uh, we've got a little bit of time uh, before I have to leave, so we're going to make some more bath bombs. But would you go get me the basket of bath bombs I made? I made, uh, I made half bombs. That's the kind that just blow up halfway. They just go poof, but they don't make a big explosion. <laughs> I made half bombs because I had half bomb moles. Hang on, I'm going to get them. So take those away and um, and uh, put them over there and wipe up the counter and then we'll start making uh, some bath bombs. All right. Okay. So um, what I did was is I had this little mold and I think this is for wax. It's like uh, or maybe it's for baking. Uh, you used a soft plastic one-fourth cup measurer to make your bombs. Hmm. Two of them, I guess, smashed together. Are those round? My, my measuring cups that I buy from the stores are always, you know, flat on the bottom and, and everything. So anyway, this right here is the bottom. And I tried, you know, smashing it up in here and creaming it and pushing it together like this uh, and everything. And then tried to open it and let it out to dry and it would never work. It came apart into two pieces. So this one, we wasn't too fond because of the hole. So this right here alone, I would use the bottom out of both of these and, you know, and then have two little half ones and they would pop out of the mold. And uh, so I made some lavender and some lemongrass ones. And uh, let me show you what I made. I'm totally a newbie at bath bombs. I've never done it. So, we made, so I made half bombs. So see, and I packed them like this where they're two at a whack. Uh, in there, but you so you get four different you can get four different flavors basically because they're high bombs and that is um, I took some color and a little bit of oil and Epsom salts and I colored the Epsom salts and then I put it in the bottom of the mold and then put the stuff in in there. I did the same thing with yellow uh, on those and then I put lavender buds inside some of them so you could see the buds and some of them I didn't. Um, I also tested out um, uh, frogs. So, um, and look, these here, um, the, the feet's coming off of this one again. But in any case, so here is some little, uh, that's a little frog and a bath bomb stick with glitter. And I was just testing out the different moles that I had. Like the little candy bonbon moles work really good. And um, here is like a mixed bag. So we have a yellow one and a red one. I mean a blue one. And then we have some of the little bath bombs, little ones. And I did that because I was just testing to see what would happen with those moles. Uh, it's little tray moles, silicone moles. Oh, my back's hurting. And, um, and so I just thought, well, let me see what happens when you make those and, you know, what does it turn out like and is it of any use and whatnot. And so I'm not 100% sure it would be. <laughs> so, so I think I'm going to just stick with the little half bombs. 
Yeah, thank you. Well, I think we picked those up at the Walmart. I think in the baking section. I think Bridget got them. It was two in a pack. And you put them up like this, I think, and pour your your dough in there or squeeze your dough in there and you bake them inside the little rounds and then you open them up and you have a perfect little round uh, food item. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it would be a sweet. So anyway, so I put these on here, but I think the best ones are just simply the little half bombs and uh, we made just a little simple label. We put them in the middle on some of them. I, I put them on the least decorated ones on some of them. <laughs> anyway, so, but I really do want to buy a good press, uh, a bath bomb press, and, and have three different, you know, the little ones, the medium ones, and the big one. Uh, oh, my back. And uh, so, anyway, so, let me see if anybody's had any ideas. Somebody's gonna put a wick in their bath bombs. Well, there you go. It's got a hole. <laughs> Large bath bombs can be overwhelming, huh? Jason A U D. Find him on Facebook. All right, I will do that. And somebody has given me a link, bathbombpress.com, uh, Hillary says earlier. So, look at that. Now, yeah, that's right. You got two, two, two uses instead of one. Oh, let me go get the moles. Hang on. Somebody's wanting to go back to school. She picks these up when she sees them. She likes to make melt and pour soap for the kids. And so she picks up these little molds on a regular basis. And I sprinkled glitter down in each canal and then pressed it in really good and then laid it and cleaned off the top. And it turned in to these cute little sticks up on the top. Bath bomb sticks. And they're, and they're covered in the glitter on the top side where it went down. And then this was the candy molds, and this is literally to make homemade chocolates. So they look like homemade chocolates. And we found that the little bonbons, oh, they just pop right out. But the square ones, you have to sort of work to get them out, and they break easy. So the little round ones uh, was the best. And then, and we had two of those. And then I had the frogs, but the little feet, they would not hold in. So this works great for melting pork, but the little feet just kept falling off of them. It's just too skinny right in there to support them. So that's where we got those. And Bridget sometimes sees them at the Dollar Tree, but she predominantly picks them up at Walmart in their baking section, their baking department. I, I'm just half bombing around. <laughs> yeah, so I made this right here just out of um, three batches. Um, I got, um, let's see, there was three batches and it was like eight ounces and eight ounces and then four ounces and four ounces and four ounces of the different ingredients um, and everything. And so and, and, uh, oh yeah, the plastic Christmas ornaments is, let's see. I found that the plastic Christmas ornaments is, are, ornaments are the easiest to use for hand-pressed bombs. Usually, 
can find cheap at Michael's this time of year. If you need help, just ask. Oh, you're so sweet. That's a, a, a soapy friend of mine sent me that. Uh, so I don't, I didn't, Christmas ornaments, Christmas ornaments are like balls and they're one piece. And is there, uh, she said Christmas ornaments, plastic Christmas ornaments is, they may be, uh, Oh yeah, she's got some of those. She's calling those ice cream, ice, uh, ice trays, but we don't call those ice trays. We call those candy trays. That's used to make candy. Uh, and that was Hillary. She was sending me some images of these very same kind of trays that she uses, just different patterns. She'd been telling me, I use ice cream, I use ice trays, ice trays, and I thought, I don't want to make square ice cubes. And she's, but she was talking about these little silicone molds and the fun little shapes all along. And I didn't realize it because she was calling them ice cube trays. And we've and I've always thought that those were like for can homemade candy and sweets. And so I never even thought that she was talking about the same thing I was already using. So these are, uh, she says, I do the Christmas ornaments too. They have them in two. You find them in the craft parts, but I don't know. Maybe it's for making a ceramic Christmas ornaments is that it's like a mold or something. I'm not totally understanding what that is. So uh, Christmas or plastic Christmas ornaments uh, might search if uh, Hobby Lobby has a website. And you could see images of them, maybe. There is some you can fill with, like, the fake snow. Oh! She says that they're Christmas ornaments that are plastic that come apart so that you can put pictures in them. Uh, so, they come apart. There you go. Well, I'll have to look for those. You can't find them at Walmart. Is that right, guys? They're just not at Walmart. Yeah, you pull them apart. Well, there you go. So, uh, that's what we did here. And uh, I showed them to you in a video that I tried to post, but it would, I, couldn't get it to, I couldn't get it to post. So, I'm going to try again. So, there's a little video I made over the weekend that I'm going to try to poke at you. Not at Walmart. HobbyLobby.com. All right. Uh, she, oh, now Hillary is in Canada, and Hillary said that she got some of them at the Dollar Tree. Isn't that what you said, Hillary, the Dollar Tree? Yeah, the Dollar Store, which we might, might be what we call the Dollar Tree, uh, or, oh, Sherry sent a photo. Oh, my goodness. They are absolutely clear plastic ornaments. You have to completely decorate what goes in those, or they are of no uh, beauty at all. Well, those would be perfect. Those would be perfect. Well, there you have it. All right, so guys, I wish I could show you what those look like, but I can't. Uh, Sherry, Sherry, I don't know if you can post a picture in the comments. Uh, I don't think they'll let you do that here on YouTube. They're just clear little cups. And so, it sort of looked like, it sort of looked like, uh, like that. But it was out of hard plastic, not soft plastic. And they snapped together. So, I have to go get me some of those. Because I need moles. Uh, I'd like to make a uh, decent or bath bombs. <laughs> I, I'd like to make really pretty ones uh, and, uh, you know, different colors. But we're making them all natural. We're using Alkanet and turmeric. Uh, we're not using the dyes so far. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. I like the idea of making them natural. And so I'm going to see about coloring them with natural colors and see if people want to still buy them. All right.
yeah, it's a good gift, gift idea, absolutely. So, um, I got my citric acid to make my bath bombs from Essential Depot. I need to, for you to open up all of those. And then these here, this, these citric acids, they need to go right here where we're keeping Epsom salt and all that other stuff. So I bought my citric acid from Essential Depot. And um, it's 100% pure USP-FCC food grade citric acid. And uh, so I bought that from Essential Depot. I thought it was a good price. And, uh, and everything. And I wondered about putting activated charcoal in the center of a one and how to implement adding some um, bentonite clay uh, to some of them because I thought bentonite clay would be really nice, but some people might not like bentonite clay floating around in their tub, but I thought, boy, wouldn't that be nifty to have a little bentonite clay right in the dead center of, you know, of the bath bomb so that when they after it melts and everything, a little bit of bentonite clay would float around in their tub and, and give them a nice uh, detox. <laughs> All right, so anyway. We need to do bath bombs. Anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, a, some stuff together and look about making some more bath bombs. I'm wanting to do pink ones. And I'm wanting to, uh, I think, make them smell a little uh, different. I'm wanting to make a peppermint ones, and I think um, rose scented ones, and some more lavender ones, and maybe some more lemongrass ones. We'll see. Anyway, and then I've got fragrances. I can make chocolate ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I can make chocolate ones. And, uh, and all kinds, there's all kinds of wonderful fragrances that we have here. I want to make some dragon blood bath bombs. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to make dragon blood bath bombs right now. Yep, I think that's one more day. Let's make some dragon blood bath bombs. That would be fun. What would you put in a dragon's blood bath bomb? <sighs> Crystals. That would be fun to put a crystal inside the bath bomb. Wouldn't that be fun? Ooh, that's cool. We could do that. We could put we could put miscellaneous crystals in our bath bombs and make them dragon's blood scented. We might do some sandalwood too. That would be fun, right? All right. So I I I I should have more to tell you, but this is what I got to tell you today. And we're gonna start making some bath bombs. And uh, if they come out really nicely. If they're doing okay, we'll bring you back if you want and let you see what I'm doing. But I'm serious. I'm such a novice at bath bombs. It, it can't be training. It would just have to be for fun. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Oh, remember, hit the like button. 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 No, I'm not stuck. I'm just determined. <laughs> and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you'll get notifications. All right. Love you guys. Soapykisses.com. We got butter, 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 body butter classes tomorrow. You can't miss.